Hi, Sam. Things have not gone as planned. Hi, Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The king of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the east, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident. Most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all, Ravensthorpe. Stay. I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the king's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish king. It is a fantasy. What manner of king is it that sends me letters from Ireland? To the Swan Road! Row our way up.
Ívar, leggjum skývíking. Azar, the river is clear, save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar on my neck. Ah, my Viking name would then be Azar One Eye. Thank you, Azar One Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, and I found your letter. Here. Cousin Barith is alive and king of Dublin. The Nortnir never failed to delight. Eivor, are you prepared to go to Ireland? Asar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what, but it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? Yeah, I would like to see this land, and my cousin Baurith.
Ireland. A patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Azar, how is it that Barith, as Norse as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Hard to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who's he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly he is loved by his people. Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Baris. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on thrust us chief bones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sifrith. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Barith. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Badith. <sighs> Just look at her docks. We babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Asar told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading, is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I'd trust my commerce to, old man. <laughs> you let him call you that? I call him worse things. Barith, my king! I still owe you a horn of ale. This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I'll be there shortly. My 
fine, Micey kid. Aoife, this is my cousin, Eivor. Show him the bow I had you make for him. This is for me? The craftsmanship is beautiful. Me best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? I just want to get a feel for how the bow handles. That's sure. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! needs tuning, but it's a very thoughtful gift. <laughs> you had a long sea voyage, haven't got your land legs yet. Well done, Gutten. Wait, is that a house of God? Aye, Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chew the wafer. You make a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. I've built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beaten. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. My son told me that it's a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. What scared? I There, up ahead. My home. <laughs> my only regret is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet. Which should be already underway. Up, Barrett! For the air! Here we are. Please, go enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. <laughs> 